Fuel tanks are typically loaded within the wings of the aircraft. Piston engines use a type of fuel called 100 low lead. This fuel is of a high enough octane to allow for an even combustion of the fuel-air mixtures in the cylinders. If a lower grade of fuel is used, it can cause detonation at high power settings like on takeoff where the mixture ignites instantaneously instead of burning evenly. The fuel is fed through fuel lines from the tanks into the intake of the engine. Water and contaminants can be purged from the fuel system from sump points on the wing and a fuel strainer drain on the engine. When the engine is first started, the first action should be to check to make sure the proper RPM is set using the throttle, as indicated in the aircraft operating handbook. Then, engine gauges like oil temperature and pressure should be checked. The mixture control plays a key role in maintaining the safe operation of the engine. When starting the engine, the mixture will typically be in its full rich setting, giving the cylinders enough fuel to produce power, and some surplus fuel which aids in cooling the cylinder temperature. Because the engine will typically be operating very hot at takeoff and fuel acts as a coolant, the full rich setting will be used for takeoff at airports relatively close to sea level. As the aircraft climbs, lower pressure air means that there is decreased air density in the cylinders, causing the fuel-air mixture to be excessively rich. Leaning the mixture at altitude allows for correction of the fuel-air mixture due to reduced air density. If the aircraft descends from altitude without readjusting the mixture, the increased air density then causes the mixture to be excessively lean, causing a drop in power. Air-cooled engines are especially dependent on oil circulation for internal cooling. Excessively high engine temperatures will cause loss of power, excessive oil consumption, and possible permanent internal engine damage. A carburetor is used on some aircraft engines as the means of fuel induction into the engine. It can be located on the bottom of some engines. A float-type carburetor uses a constricted throat to create a venturi, sucking fuel and air through into the engine intake. A butterfly valve is open and closed using the throttle control in the cockpit. When the throttle is fully opened, a great deal of fuel and air is sucked in and high power is produced. When the throttle is closed slightly, less fuel and air is brought into the engine and power production is decreased. Because pressure drops at low power inside the Venturi, temperature can also drop below freezing sometimes, causing vapor present in the air to freeze and block the flow of air. Temperatures can drop to below freezing even if the outside air temperature is as warm as 70 degrees Fahrenheit. With less airflow due to carb icing, power production is decreased. If the carburetor heat knob is opened in the cockpit, heating the air in the throat will cause the air to become less dense, enriching the mixture and reducing power. The heat will melt the ice, causing water to be ingested by the engine and power to drop even more. Once the ice is fully cleared, power will return to levels higher than before carburetor heat was first applied. Some aircraft are equipped with constant speed propellers. These aircraft have a propeller control in the cockpit along with the throttle and mixture control to allow the pilot to select the blade angle for the most efficient performance. The throttle controls power output as registered on the manifold pressure gauge. The propeller control regulates engine RPM by changing the blade angle to allow for a constant speed of rotation. A precaution for the operation of an engine equipped with a constant speed propeller is to avoid high manifold pressure settings with low RPM. If the oil temperature is reading too high, the aircraft may be operating at too high a power setting, at too low an airspeed, and with the mixture set too lean. Procedure to aid in cooling the engine is to enrich the mixture and increase airspeed by slowing the rate of climb. In normal combustion, the piston moves up, compressing the fuel, the spark plugs ignite the compressed fuel, and explosive forces push the piston down. If the temperatures inside the cylinder climb too high, though, it can cause the fuel-air mixture to ignite too early, putting resistance on the still-rising piston and providing less downward power-producing force on the piston. This uncontrolled firing of the fuel-air mixture in advance of normal spark plug ignition is known as pre-ignition and can be caused by running a mixture that causes the exhaust gases to be excessively hot.